सॉल्व थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन आई हैव टू चेंज सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर टर्म इन प्लेस ऑफ सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर नाव आई राइट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर In place of seven x square, I have written three x square plus four x square. Clear? Next. From these two terms, what can you take out common is three x square can be taken out common. So here left out with x, and here I get one. From these two terms, what can be taken out common is four. So here I get x square, and here I get one. okay more this no change here you have square on x on 1 i can put a square it's not going to make any change why did i put a square on 1 because on to this one i will apply the formula a square minus b square that is a minus b a plus b in place of a you have x in place of b you have 1 so when i apply this formula to this one i get x minus 1 and x plus 1 now from this entire equation what can be taken out common is x plus one. So here I get three x square, and here I get these two. Four times x minus one. Next, x plus one. Here you open up the bracket in this way. We get four x minus four equal to zero. now this is a quadratic so i will factorize this quadratic equation here see it is 3x square plus 4x minus 4 to factorize this quadratic i have to change the middle term that is 4x so 3 into 4 is 12 here i should get 4 So six into two is twelve. Six plus two is four. So in place of four x, now I write six x minus two x minus four. So now from these two, take out three x common. I get x plus two. Here you got x plus two, so here also it should be x plus two. From this, x has gone inside, so outside is minus two. So now take out x plus two common. Here I get three x and here I get minus two. Now, in place of this quadratic, now I replace this over here. Okay, let us replace. So this is x plus one. In place of this quadratic, now I write this x plus two. And three x minus two equal to zero. More. They told you to solve. That means you need to find the values for x. Here, product of brackets equal to zero. So to get the values for x, you equate each bracket to zero. That is, this equal to zero, this equal to zero, this equal to zero. That is x plus one equal to zero. X plus two equal to zero. Three x minus two equal to zero. So now to get x, you subtract one on both sides. So we get x equal to minus one. So to get x, you subtract two on both sides. So we get x equal to minus two. So now to get x here, first you add two on both sides. 
so I get 3x equal to 2. Now divide by 3, so x equal to 2 by 3. These are the values for x. This is our answer. Am I clear?